Oh, so that's where I left my camera in the cupboard. <laughs> no, just, just kidding. But so I'm back with another vlog. And for this one, I'm going to take medicine and talk about anxiety, I guess. Yeah. But uh, medicine I'm taking is for GERD, G E R D, uh, stands for gastro intestines. No, gastro and esophagitis, whatever reflux disease. I think uh, it's, it's it's basically just really bad uh, acid reflux. But uh, but yeah, my mom had it, so I got it. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, this is the second time I've been on this medicine. Uh, a doctor put me back on it after I got really sick back in November, uh, end of November. And I'm pretty sure that was because of food poisoning uh, that I got from uh, some undercooked chicken that I uh, made for myself, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, it was, it was actually a chicken pot pie, a store-bought one, a little, little personal size one, and I didn't cook it thoroughly enough, I think, and that's, that's what got me sick, but, yeah, and some of the lasting side effects from it have been I was getting like these stomach cramps that felt like hunger pains right after I ate almost any food but yeah uh, and my, my doctor also said to like take this kefir drinkable yogurt every day uh, yeah, just drink a small amount and and that and the pills seem to uh, have really helped. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost completely back to normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost, almost all the way there. Uh, but the problem is that I have difficulty swallowing pills, uh, like capsules, like, like these, the, yeah, not tablets, like that are, you know, solid. These are like, can you hear that? Yeah, this has uh, little pellets in them, but, but yeah, yeah, so I have difficulty swallowing pills, but the, the good news is that I can cut the pills open and sprinkle the little pellets on applesauce and take them that way so <laughs> that's what i do and you know also drink water with it uh, yeah <laughs> i've also noticed recently that uh like when i'm drinking a liquid I will actually <coughs> just hold it in my mouth for a little bit before swallowing uh, yeah yeah I, did. I recently noticed this and I don't know why I do it but yeah you know, I would like 
take a sip of water, like a, a good sized sip, and then just have the water in my mouth and wouldn't swallow it for you know, a little bit. And I, I don't know if that's because of my difficulty swallowing, but I, I don't know. I, 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 don't have, I don't have trouble swallowing liquids, so. But, but I've been trying to break that habit and just, just swallow the liquid as soon as I take a sip. But anyway, yeah, I've always had trouble uh, swallowing pills. It, get, it got really bad for me because I've actually choked on pills three times, I believe, <laughs> two times. My parents have had to call the ambulance. Man, I, I say ambulance. I say that. I say that word so weird. I noticed in my last video, ambulance. I know weird. I don't know why I say it differently. But but anyway. I, yeah, my parents called 911 twice because I was choking on pills and and I've only had to call it once in my life. And they've, they've called it twice on me alone. But, but yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, I just sprinkle the pellets on the applesauce like that, mix it in. Uh, teaspoon of applesauce and then just wash it down with water. Yeah, a lot easier than swallowing pill <coughs> for me. But yeah, the, the last time that I choked on a pill uh, I actually, well, all, all the times I choked on pills, they were the liquid gel capsules. And the last time I uh, got <coughs> cut the pill in half in order to prevent me from choking. But that's actually the worst thing I could have done because you, uh, you, you cut the pill and then that creates edges and then that makes it more likely to get caught in your in your throat which is what happened but yeah and also uh, the gel inside the capsules uh, is the worst thing that I've ever tasted in my life. So yeah, yeah, don't cut liquid capsules in half. It's really bad for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not swallowing the, the outside of the pill, just, just the pellets inside. <coughs> yeah, there's a symptom of GERD. So yeah, just after choking too many times on pills, I just try to avoid taking uh, pills at all costs. Like I, I would use like uh, heating pads and ice packs, and, uh, creams for pain, uh, and then take like liquid medicine and chewable or dissolvable pills or other stuff. I think the last time I took some pills was 
uh, after my hernia surgery that that I had uh, right after college. Yeah, yeah, I was, was Vicodin pills for the pain, which, which uh, I, I needed. Uh, yeah, because I remember the pain. Yeah, having bad pain after surgery, which is, is normal. So yeah, I needed those pills. And then uh, also I've taken Zyrtec allergy pills and those pills are like tiny, like the, about the size of a grain of rice. So the, that, that was easy to swallow, but other than those, I've not taken pills. Yeah, so now I have bad anxiety about choking on pills or on food, which I've also done, and my parents have had to give me the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of times but now that i'm living alone there's no one else to call 911 or do the heimlich on me so so yeah it's like my worst fear uh, choking to death alone I know I've had anxiety probably since I was a little kid, maybe even before, but the choking has just made it worse. The ironic part is that there are pills that can help with anxiety, but I have anxiety about taking pills, so. You know, I have to find a way to help my anxiety uh, about taking pills without taking pills. And also, uh, some of the symptoms of GERD is, uh, you, you can get this feeling that food is caught in your throat and in some cases GERD can actually cause uh, a difficulty in swallowing so I, I just can't win anyway. The best description I've heard about anxiety is uh, this post I saw online where it, where it says anxiety is like the background music in horror movies. Even if nothing bad is going on, the music uh, makes you feel uneased. And that, that's exactly how I feel. And also why I don't normally watch horror movies. With anxiety, uh, I'm not at ease and my mind just goes to the worst possible thing that could happen. And as I don't know if you're tardy or have been in a terrible accident, I'm unable to commit to an appropriate emotional response, so please call me. I'm probably going to uh, end up taking pills uh, when I get older, pills that could be keeping me alive, like like for my heart or or uh, brain, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, any type of pills. So uh, probably gonna have to swallow pills like again someday uh, but for right now uh, 
I think I'll just try living as healthy as I can so that I won't have to take pills in the future. Or maybe I could just smoke weed. Hey, 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 smoke weed every day. I've heard that can help with his anxiety. Take pot instead of pills. Yeah, but not in Idaho. Yeah, I think we're the only state in the country that hasn't legalized marijuana in some way. But I don't want to do that without talking to some sort of doctor. Uh, uh, yeah, before smoking marijuana. So I don't have a bad reaction and, and get more anxiety. Yeah, but uh, I'll just have to figure out what I'm going to do and find the best thing for me. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, until next video, goodbye.